Hey guys, what's up? Mad Cat here and today I am super excited because we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be talking about how to achieve long healthy hair. All throughout my life, people have asked me, how do I get my hair so long and beautiful? Well, today I am going to tell you my little secret. Before I start, I just want to throw a little disclaimer out there and tell you guys, if I say to try not to do something with your hair because it might damage it and you like the look of it, you can totally keep doing it. It is your hair. I'm just telling you some things that work for my hair that might help your hair. So now that that's out of the way, here are my five tips on how to achieve long, healthy hair. So my first tip on how to achieve long, healthy hair is to stop applying so much heat to your hair. By applying heat to your hair, you are drying your hair out and making it more brittle and more likely to break off. Whether it's blow drying, curling, or straightening, that all damages your hair over time. It's best to air dry your hair. I put my hair up in a little towel like this and I leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes. My second tip is to start showering regularly. Try to use all natural hair products because those are the best for your hair. I know some people say to stop shampooing every time you take a shower because it can dry out your hair, but I never have that problem. You can try it if you think it'll help though. My third tip is to stop messing and touching your hair so much whether it's brushing, braiding, or playing with your hair. It can damage your hair just as much as applying heat to it does. Touching your hair a lot can make your hair really fuzzy and it can give your hair split ends over time and no one wants that. A little brushing, braiding, or playing with your hair is okay, like a little straightening, curling, or drying is okay, but too much will definitely make your hair like straw. I know this tip sounds a little weird, but trust me, it'll definitely help your hair over time. My fourth tip for you is to find the right brush. Not every brush works for everybody. Back in my third tip, I said that too much brushing is not very good for your hair, and that's true. But finding the right brush can definitely save you a lot of pain. I use a big paddle brush like this. I always brush my hair the second I get out of the shower and put my clothes on while my hair is still wet because I find that when your hair is wet, it is a lot easier to brush it out. And that's the only time I brush my hair until the next shower unless I'm going somewhere special or I'm trying to put my hair up in the perfect high ponytail and that does not happen often. If you still are going to brush your hair out on a daily basis, just do it as gently as possible. My fifth tip is about when to get a trim. Even though you are trying to grow your hair out, it is super important to get a trim two to three times a year. It will get rid of any split ends and make your hair look a lot smoother and neater. And when you get a trim, you only get about one to three inches cut off. So that's it for my five tips on how to achieve long, healthy hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and that would be amazing. And don't forget to comment down below telling me what other videos I should do. Maybe I should do one on my hair routine. Tell me down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!